how to fix Windows 10 Ethernet connection that keeps dropping. Many of Windows 10 users are having issues connecting to the internet and some are experiencing frequent connectivity drops. This issue on your internet happens when you are connected to a network but you are not getting any connection or the signal keeps on dropping. There are several factors that can cause this issue and it might be because of a bad ethernet cable, issues with your modem, service provider problem, and our hardware issue. In this short video, I will show you how to fix Windows 10 ethernet connection that keeps dropping. Step 1. Check everything from the outside. Since the issue is on the internet, we recommend to check the ethernet cable right away if was connected firmly from the back of your PC to your modem. If it's loosened, try to perform a simple unplug and plug procedure to confirm it was connected correctly. Do this to your modem as well. Step 2. Change ports and restart modem. After checking the cable and the connection issues still present, then you try and insert the Ethernet cable to other part of your modem. The change of IP address might be able to fix the issue, there is no solid explanation about this procedure, but most of the time when I have issues with my connection, I just reinsert it to other ports and the issue is resolved. Hopefully, we have the same issue and it should be fixed after performing it and then restart your modem. In restarting your modem, just simply unplug its power cord and reinsert it back after 30 seconds. Step 3. Temporarily Disable Antivirus or Firewall Now, since security programs are important tool in keeping our PC safe from virus or malware and disabling it will be critical. It doesn't matter what antivirus you have, it is recommended to temporarily disable it and turn it back on if the issue still occurs. To turn off firewall, follow these steps. First, type Windows Firewall in the search box. At the Firewall and Network Protection section, click on Domain Network. Then, toggle Windows Firewall on or off. In here I am using Microsoft Defender as my firewall. A prompt message will appear if you want the app to make changes to your device, click on Yes to confirm. Go back to the desktop and try using the internet to check if the issue still occurs. If the issue has not been resolved by disabling firewall, you can do the steps again to turn it back on. This is to make sure that your computer is protected. Step 4. Clear Browsing History If you are regularly using your browser and never clear the browsing history, this might be the cause of the issue. It doesn't matter if what browser you are using, you can simply access its settings and clear the history. In here, I will only be showing you how to clear cache and data on Google Chrome. If you want to know how to do that in other browsers, such as Internet Explorer, Opera and Firefox browser, you can check on the article link provided on the description of this video. First, open Google Chrome. Then, click on the three vertical dots located at the upper right-hand corner of the screen. At the drop-down menu, click on More Tools. Then click on Clear Browsing Data. In here, there is a time range option. You can choose between those options according to when you started to experience the problem, or if you want to delete everything to be sure, you can select All Time. Next, make sure the boxes for cookies and other site data as well as cached images and files are both checked. Then, click on Clear Data. After clearing cache and data of your browser, check if Ethernet connection keeps dropping still occurs. Step 5. Check if the Ethernet was enabled or update adapter. For some reasons, there are cases that after an update, it won't automatically turn on the Ethernet adapter and it won't allow you to connect to the internet. This is rarely to happen, but just in case then it's worth a try to check if it was enabled. To check, follow these steps. First, press Windows plus R key on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. 
At the Run dialog box, type in devmgmt.msc and press Enter or click on OK. This will open the Device Manager section. Next, at the Device Manager section, click on Network Adapters to narrow it down. Then, right-click the name of your network adapter. Check if it is enabled or disabled. If the Enable option is present, click on Enable Device to turn it on. If the issue still occurs, then you can try and update the driver. Mostly an out-of-date driver can cause an issue or connectivity is unstable. Updating it can resolve this issue. First, at the Device Manager section click the drop-down arrow to expand network adapters. Click Update Driver and then click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Windows will now search online for drivers. Wait for the update to complete. Once driver is updated and installed, click on Close. Next, go back to Desktop and check if Ethernet connection that keeps dropping still occurs. Step 6. Call your service provider. If your PC Ethernet cable connection to your modem has no issues but no internet, then we recommend to call your service provider. It doesn't matter which provider you're under with, as long as there is something wrong with their service you have to let them know. However, for those who has limited monthly plan, we recommend to check your data allocation to determine if your service is not throttled. If so, then your connection is okay but your service is slowed or limited. Step 7. Call a tech service or visit service center. If all procedures didn't resolve the issue, then you can call a tech to check your PC or bring it to the nearest service center. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.